Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Gecko Kujo. Now, when we left off, we had just conquered two thieves from the Hojo clan and expanded our ever-growing territory within the Beartilled Shogunate, of course. So, now we have a small predicament. Lady Marisa has become under attack by a couple of Hojo clan vassals as I made my way into Konadai Castle to hopefully be able to defend it. But it appears that she was able to get caught and now we will have to go to her rescue, of course. So, let us head in and see what we can do. Yes, rush to the aid, of course. So, 73 troops the enemy has. Hmm, I don't think she was able to defend herself. She did only have, I believe it was, 43 available for combat after our very extensive siege in the previous episode. And so we will rush to her aid and hopefully be able to vanquish Lord Baba's party. Not entirely sure where he's from. Maybe he is a defector from a previous clan, but... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure whether I've heard of him as a Hojo clan vassal before, but, oh well. I suppose many of the minor Hojo lords, perhaps, are coming out of the woodwork, who knows? And I may have just insulted him by calling him a minor lord, so yes, he'll probably be even more angry with us at our attack, and indeed our insults, so let us just attempt to make sure that we will not get taken out too easily, of course, and I will be telling our cavalry and infantry to now charge in as our archers, which I do believe we only have two of, attempt to assist us. So this is going to be rather amusing if we come down to a archer versus archer battle, but of course we do have an overwhelming amount of infantry, so we should be okay in theory, but you never know. Now, many of you have actually told me in the comments, which is something that I was unaware of, which is rather lucky actually, because it appears that Lady Marisa's banner means fire, and our banner for the Bear Tilt Shogunate, or at least the banner that Bruce likes to run around with, means water. So, yes, that is a yin and yang type cohesion, it appears, and I am so incredibly pleased with that. That is a great turn of events right there. I really had no idea that that was the case, but I am very pleased that it is. So, yes, there we are. We are, I suppose, destined to be husband and wife. <laughs> but, yes, there we are. That will be rather nice once we get going with that, and I didn't get taken out there. That was an illusion. It was cast by the enemy's sorcerers to cause some sort of thing to happen in terms of propaganda in our own faction. Yes, it's propaganda, of course. It can only be propaganda. It's not real. Do not look. Avert your eyes. <laughs> okay, avert your eyes at least for another 10 seconds or so. And then you can look. Ah, there we are. Okay, yes, we won that. Don't look at the casualty screen. That was absolutely amazing. Okay, so we survived and did a lot of damage. And that was very nice indeed. So, yes, there we are. Our fiancé is now expressing her thanks, which is great. So, there we are. And it appears that, oh wow, we were actually against a couple of other vassals. I was actually not expecting to be against quite a few of them, but it appears that Lord Yamana was able to escape, and Lord Baba is positive relation with us. This is something that I do need to consider, because even if we do take him prisoner, I don't think it's going to give us a great reward, because as you know, we do have a huge amount of Mon in our treasury, and if we were to take him prisoner, I think the reward would basically be about 2,500 to maybe 3,500 Mon itself. So I think the relation in this case, the relation and the honor, is going to be a little bit more important. So we will be letting him go, and there we are. He states that we are a man of honor, which is rather nice. But yes, our relation with him has increased from 5 to 10, and we gain a little bit of honor. And this fellow also has 9 with us, so we may indeed be able to lure some of the Hojo clan vassals over to the Beartilled Shogunate in time. So yes, we will let this fellow go as well. Okay, so only Lord Yamana was able to escape, which is, I suppose, not too bad, considering we were able to have the potential to capture two of them. So the ratio is in our favor, 
and we will now be heading on to loot a few items of course I don't really have a lot of food that is a little worrying my morale is going down rather steadily so I do need to be yes as you can see I do need to be a bit cautious of that it is currently on low and as I say that I did want to start the recording a little bit later on once I had returned to Kyoto and placed Lord Toyama in the prisoner tower there and of course mended our morale issues but of course Lady Marisa was able to get engaged upon right there and yes that's a little unfortunate but nevertheless I will be now telling Mei Ling to send a message to our vassals and I will be ending the campaign so that Marisa can head back to friendly territory and rejuvenate her units hopefully she will oh my goodness she is a warrior isn't that right look at that she's actually following Lord Matsuda's party hopefully she will head into Konadai castle after I move away oh my goodness she's really going in versus that guy no, it appears not. Look at that guy. He has 143, and she's just gone in versus someone else. I believe she's gone in versus a patrol. So let us assist her in the way of actually trying to... Oh. Okay. Well, I was going to say trying to push away the Lord Matsuda party, and I will be attempting to dictate the peace terms. Okay, so it appears that they are only enabled to give two fiefs. They are not allowed to give Choshi away by the looks of things. So, yes, that is, of course, their last town. So, hmm, I don't think it really matters which one we ask for, but I will be asking for one of them at least. And there we are. They have refused our terms. Well, so be it, Hojo Clan. You will regret the time that you declined my very, very generous offer. Oh, yes. Totally generous. Okay, so yes, there we are. Lady Marisa will be okay to defeat that patrol, I hope. And then I'm hoping she will run away from Lord Matsuda. Because I am probably wanting to go back to Kyoto as quickly as I can, if possible. Because, as you can see, we are starting to lose troops to our morale issues. So, yes, we will be attempting to do just that in just a moment. I think I can probably leave her to defend this and to defeat indeed the particular fellow here the patrol yes it seems so and now maybe she will walk this way okay she's after the Choshi patrol yet again okay well I will leave her to it I think I think she will be fine and we will now be heading to Kyoto and of course I will stop off at Edo first because I would like to get a few more pieces of food to take with us on the journey and just before I cut away here Lord Kikawa has actually joined the Bertold Shogunate, or at least he has attempted to defect to us. So that is rather nice, I must admit. I'm hoping that we will be able to speak to him once we arrive at Kyoto. Okay, so upon entering the castle at Kyoto, we have seen Lord Kikawa waiting here with his wife, I believe. Is this his wife? I'm not entirely sure, but I would like to know about you. Okay, it appears that she has nothing to do with any of these fellows right here. Well, who knows? Maybe she is married to our Chancellor here. Well, <laughs> nevertheless, we will be accepting this fellow's pledge and hoping that he will be just as useful as he was to the Date clan. I believe he was a vassal of them previously. So, yes, before we head out, I would like to get a patrol. Yes, there we are. Let's get a big patrol, and we'll get it to patrol around... Where do we want it to patrol around? Wow. Okay, we... Yeah, we seem to own a huge amount, it appears. Well, that is why we are gaining such a huge amount of cash every single week, after all, I suppose. We'll send it to Edo, why not? I suppose it will take quite a while to get there, but I think it will be worth it in the end. So, before I leave... No. Yes. I would like to recruit troops from the Chosokabe clan, and we'll try to get as many of those as we can. Okay, I think one more will be fine. There we are. I'm not entirely sure whether they'll be able to get 150 of them, but yes, eventually I suppose they will be able to complete that task. So, now, I have been waiting here for some time. As you can probably see, our morale is now average, so that is a little unfortunate. I would like to get it to at least high, so what I will be doing, 
as we take a look at the map very briefly, is waiting at Kyoto for a little bit longer, and then we will head back to potentially Kanayama Castle, and we will try to siege it, maybe. We will see how Lord Matsuda feels about that, oh yes. So, I will see you soon. Okay, so we have a very rare predicament that has not usually plagued us that much during this particular series, and that is, of course, siege defense. So here we are, we have 256 troops at Konadai Castle, and we are, of course, going to do battle against no other than Lord Matsuda's party and a couple of other vassals with their 343. So, yes, I must just mention before we head in here that Lord... Uida, I believe is how you pronounce it, from the Hojo clan, was taken prisoner by the Beartilled Shogunate, and I'm not entirely sure who in particular was able to defeat him, but yes, I was just very proud indeed that some of our vassals were able to do battle and indeed defeat some of our enemies. So, thankfully enough, I arrived here just in time because I was on my way through Oda clan lands, and that is exactly when the message popped up to tell me that Konadai Castle was under siege, so I had to rush there incredibly fast, and I was just hoping that I would not be intercepted by anyone. Now, I must also mention that a little bit of news has occurred in terms of the, I suppose, balance in the area, and that is, of course, concerning the Tokugawa clan and the Oda clan. They have declared war against each other, so it appears that we will see a little bit of bloodshed there. So, without further ado, let us now join the battle and attempt to defend as best we can. I was actually going to hope that I was going to spawn next to the archers, but nevertheless, I'm pretty sure our archers and gunners and every other kind of archer that we have will hopefully be able to do a reasonable job. And hopefully we will not need to have any sort of bad luck in terms of gunners. Okay, so here we are, I have my bow, and this is when we are actually able to see the other side of what our enemies usually see when we are streaming in through their front gates. So I am actually pretty happy being up here, because as you can see, we're having a pretty reasonable time of it, using our bow to deal a huge amount of headshots right there, and indeed taking out a couple of our enemies' units. Now, Lord Inamata is going on a complete killing spree at the moment. Hopefully he will be taken out soon. But at the moment, we are not having great luck in terms of dealing with him. So it appears that I will have to rush over here myself. And maybe I will have to take him out. Come on! What are you doing, George? You're just letting him hit you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, nevertheless, come on. Let's get in there. New enemies have arrived. I do have to be a little bit cautious of that, of course. I do need to make sure that I don't get surrounded. Oh no. Oh my goodness, okay, that was very lucky indeed. I was not expecting to take them out that easily, but it appears I was lucky enough to do so. Now come on, let's do it. Yes, I love the range on this particular weapon right here. And that reminds me, I have not shown you guys what kind of gear I am using yet. And I do mention that every single episode since that fellow left the comment stating that you want to see what I am actually using. So <laughs> I will attempt with my sincerest apologies to actually take a look at that after we have successfully defended or indeed had a very humiliating defeat indeed here. So let us hope that we will be able to pull off a great defense because then I will be more than likely able to remember to do just that. So, oh my goodness, yes. Come on, reinforcements have arrived, oh no. I am going to be taken out, I believe, maybe. Oh no. Oh, it appears, yes, the overhead slash is helping me right here. Thankfully enough, these fellows are running faster than me because they have more athletics, and they are able to enter my weapons range before they enter weapons range for theirs. So, yes, that is wonderful. Now, of course, I do have archers streaming down arrows from atop the tower over there, and that is, of course, helping me out quite a bit. As you can see, look at that. They took out that gunner without any issues whatsoever, and now we do need to... Oh, no. Come on, take him out. Oh yes, thank you very much. Okay, I may actually need to retreat a little bit, especially with myself, rather than my units, and we'll see what we can do with our bow here, or maybe I should just protect our archers. That might be a good idea instead. No, it appears I actually hit someone, but yeah, maybe didn't really do too much. Okay, come on, take him out. 
Oh no, I'm not in range. There we are. Okay, I really do need to fight in third person to fully gauge the range, but it appears that a Hojo mounted officer had my number and he was able to rather swiftly take me out, so that is unfortunate, but now the most fearsome of our units. The Hatamoto guards have entered the fray and I'm pretty sure our enemies will be beaten back in no time at all. However, we do only have, I believe it is, 11 Hatamoto guards. So hopefully once this battle is over, we will be able to level up quite a few other units. Maybe some of our officers will have gained enough experience to level into Hatamoto guards. That would be nice, but it appears that the enemy also has a sufficient amount of high-tier units, as you can see by the large amount of Hojo-mounted officer text being spammed here. Oh no, that is not very nice at all. Look at this! This Hojo-mounted officer right here. They must have a huge amount of those fellows. Wow. Okay. It appears I may actually need to retreat. I really do not want to do that. Huh. Yeah. I think we're probably... Oh, no. We are gaining a few more reinforcements, but this is really not going to be enough, I do not believe. Yes. It appears that we will have to leave Konadai Castle to the likes of these warriors right here, unless these few spearmen groups are able to fight our opponents to their best of the abilities. Come on. Let us hope that they can do it. Oh, unfortunately, most of our forces are getting separated and killed, or, in other words, divided and conquered. That is not too good. Hmm. Yes, I think we will have to retreat and leave this castle for our opponents. It appears that that might actually be the way we need it to be. However, the enemy has been forced to retreat, but I do not believe I have enough HP, or indeed my units have enough HP to carry on the fight. As you can see, we lost two Hatamoto guards in that fight. Very painful indeed. Oh, and we gained another two, so I suppose that's reasonable. So let us see here what we can level up. So how many units do we actually have? Not many. We have 111, and our opponents have 56, 48, and that is it, it appears. Are we able to do it? Hmm. I think they're probably going to win this. Ah. Uh, are they? Are they going to win this? We have 111. My companions and I are very low on HP. Hmm, 56, 48. That is roughly similar to 111, but we do need to take into account their mounted officers. They were completely destroying us, and it appears that Lord Narita, who may have had the most Hojo mounted officers to speak of, has actually lost most of them, and they are not able to continue the fight. So, maybe I'm missing someone here. Maybe there is one additional vassal that I'm not able to see at the moment. That might be the case. Oh no, this fellow has also lost most of his. So, we will be heading in here and... Oh, there's actually four. Wait a minute. I didn't realize that there was four. I thought there was only three. Oh. Okay, that's very strange indeed. Okay, well, it appears that they may actually be attempting to siege once again. And the Hojo clan is offering us a peace agreement once again. This might be something that we want to consider? Not really. I'm going to dictate the peace terms again, and maybe they will give me Kanayama Castle this time around. So let's try it. Ah, refuses negotiation, of course. Well, this is a very even fight indeed, however, we of course have very low HP. So this is where we will have to be rather cautious in our efforts to take out our enemies. So, we have 126, and they have 104. Let's do this. Let us hope. I am very low HP indeed, so I will have to resort to my bow a little bit more, and I can only hope that our Hatamoto guards, and Mei Ling indeed is still here, very nice indeed, and Kaguya I'm sure is going to be around here somewhere, so we can only hope that they will do their very best to fight off our opponents. So come on, let's do some damage with our archery over the walls there, and maybe get a couple of headshots as they come in. That will be the way to do it. And 
weaken them as much as we can. Oh no, we are not taking out too many of them. And there's a huge amount of armored units as well. This is actually making me a little bit worried, I must admit. Okay, I mustn't get taken out either, so maybe it would be a good idea if I actually fired against this wall here, just in case. And, oh my, I'm weakening quite a few of them, and oh my goodness, a lot of our elite archers are doing an excellent job. And, <laughs> oh, that is always rather amusing when you get taken out in first person. But yes, nevertheless, I do need to right the camera a little bit. There we are. That's a little bit better. And now, oh no, new enemies have arrived already. Well, that's actually pretty good, because at least then we have taken out their first wave. And that actually bodes very well for us, indeed. So I think the main reason why we were losing so many units at the end there is because the Hojo clan units were able to split us up and take us out one at a time. So it appears this way we have done a pretty good job at defending. However, of course, I did need to retreat, but in terms of game mechanics, I suppose, because some of you do seem to think that maybe that is a flawed mechanic, I'm not entirely sure, because even though this siege is in stages, I think the stages are mainly for large towns where the garrison is maybe 400 to 500 strong, and even the game said itself that the attacking force was forced to retreat, so maybe that is something to consider, but yes, I do understand what you mean. Now, I believe that is probably a victory in terms of our defense right here. Not entirely sure what they are shooting at. It appears that maybe a couple of the enemy's units are... Oh, it appears there's one gunner remaining on the hill here, so we will wait for him to get taken out by our extremely accurate archers. By our extremely accurate archers. Yeah. Oh, there's a hit. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was Mei Ling or something. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. One more guy. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually takes out someone. Gunners, as we know, are incredibly inaccurate. And they are not able to absolutely take out anyone. But, yes. Okay, well, nevertheless, I think we have attained victory. I think I may... Oh, I cannot actually access the command menu. That is a little unfortunate. Well, I will cut away while my archers are incredibly accurately firing at this particular gunner. Okay, so the gunner was just taken out, and that is only because he ran out of ammo, I believe. So yes, he was able to move a little bit closer to our elite archers, and I'm not entirely sure if they've earned the title elite, but <laughs> it appears this time around they were able to take him out once he moved a little bit closer. So let us hopefully be able to, well, let some of these fellows go, because then we, of course, can potentially lure them to join us. Of course, not entirely sure whether the relation really has that much effect. I think maybe what may lure them more is free thiefs. And, of course, I do have a couple of those in reserve. So let us take a couple of them prisoner, a couple of their normal units, and then we will move on. I think we can probably take all of them, actually. Hmm, all of them except one. There we are. Okay, so that is fine. We will take a few pieces of loot. And then we will have successfully defended Konotai Castle. Wonderful, wow. We had a lot of losses there, but before we end this episode off here, I am going to be showing you my gear, and this is what I am currently using. This helmet is incredibly nice. 52 to head armor, I believe. That is probably one of the highest I have seen. I think I saw a higher one when I was first starting out that was 54, maybe? But nevertheless, 52 is reasonable. And then we have a tempered Nodachi, which is wonderful. I, of course, really enjoy it because it has only cutting damage, but nowadays I may prefer a little bit of piercing damage as well to go along with that. And now we have a balanced Naganata, which has a wonderful swing damage. Absolutely amazing weapon reach as well. I don't use it as much as I probably should, but yes, I really should use it more on my horse a little bit more. I have neglected to use it in field battles lately. Then we have some lordly Kozane armor, and that is 58 body armor. Very nice indeed, although I am still able to get taken out by gunners for whatever reason. That is why I was so surprised. Well, nevertheless, 9 to body armor with our gloves. I'm pretty sure I can get better gloves, but... Not entirely sure where. And then we have some lordly 
boots here. I would not attempt to pronounce the name, but yes, there we are. 34 to leg armor. And then, of course, we have our patented War Yumi, which I'm pretty sure you can get a better one of. A strong War Yumi would probably be the best bet, because that gives us, I think that gives 28 to piercing damage, which is rather wonderful. And then, of course, we have a large bag of war arrows and a heavy Kiso horse. So there we are. That is my gear. I have finally gotten around to doing that. And so I will end this episode off here. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.